Hi, hello everyone, my name is Mimi and welcome back to my channel where I talk all things beauty, fashion, DIY, and occasionally vlog about things that are of importance to me. Today I'm going to be reviewing a Zero Waste Clean Beauty Lip and Cheek Tint by the company Botica Botanica. Um, these products are available on Etsy. And I'd like to add that if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. And now let's get into the meat of this video. So, um, Botica Botanica is a cosmetics company. They are located in Portland, Oregon, and they sell perfume, organic perfumes, as well as lip, lip and cheek tints. Um, these lip and cheek tints are a natural sheer pigment that's supposed to be good for your skin. They come in a little 2.5 ounce jar like this. They have the prettiest label, look at that label. And it says the name of the company, it says what it is, and it also says the color. This color is wildflower. So um, these little pots, are 2.5 ounces. They're handmade. The ingredients vary a little bit by the tint that you get, but it includes beeswax, shea butter, argon oil, raw coconut oil, and mineral pigments. Um, it's available in nine colors. I have notes. <laughs> there are two container types. There's this one that I have, which is glass with a metal top. Um, I dropped this, and as you can see, it's chipped, so it's, it's, uh, not uh, gonna cut me or anything, it's not like that, but it's, so uh, be careful if you get the glass, and a, this is $14, and a paper push-up container that's larger, it's half an ounce, 0.5 ounces, and that one is $22. Um, the shades I have are Wildflower, which is this one, this color, and I'm going to swatch it on my hand. And this color is said to be a mauve. They do have a smell, but it's just herbal. It's not perfume or anything. That's Wildflower, and this is said to be a bright mauve. But to me, it's a very muted, natural mauve. And then the other color that I have is Santa Sangre, I think that's how that's said. I don't speak Spanish, so I don't know. But this one is described as a deep orangey red. And when I read the ingredients on this one, this one had apricot kernel oil, and that's the color. And I'm gonna swatch this one on my hand. And as you can see, it's definitely an orangey red. Okay, um, I'm gonna swatch Santa Sangre on my lips so you can see what this looks like. But I'm going to wear, not Santa Sangre, wildflowers on my lips. So let's put this on so you can see what it looks like. These are pigmented. So, they do show up on my pigmented lips. But on me, this is my lips, but better color, and it's really pretty. And these are smooth. They have a very herbal scent, and very elegant formula. And they do well on the lips, they last like a regular lipstick. No, not a long wear product on your lips. They last as a cheek tint, and I'm gonna show you what Sante Sangre looks like as a cheek, cheek tint because that's the color I want to wear today. Um, that's on my lips, and I'm gonna wipe this off so you can see Santa Sangre. Because this is the color I wanna to wear today on my lips and cheeks. Now, these last on your cheeks all day if you power over top, so. See the difference? How 
the mauve color is like muted and this one's a bright orangey red. Isn't that pretty? It's like a lipstick, honestly, like a sheer, what they call a sheer lipstick, more than a, a heavy, heavier lipstick color. It really is a tint and it packs a punch. If you're very fair complexion, I can see this being even brighter on you. But if you're darker than me or you have more pigmented lips than I have, these are going to be very sheer washes. I don't know how well they're going to do. And then as cheek stain, these do really well. They have a lot of color, a lot of color as cheek stain. Look at that. Do you see? Isn't that pretty? Very natural. Now, I'm very lazy when it comes to makeup and I want my makeup to be easy and fast and I love multi-tint, multi-purpose products like this. So Lazy Curl Beauty multi-purpose product. Anything that you can use on your lips and your cheeks is Lazy Girl approved. And your eyes too. So I'm going to put more of this on. Really build up the color because I'm going to powder over top. I love how easy this is to apply with your fingers. It's very smooth, the color's not patchy. And I'm just wearing a skin tint underneath. I'll have everything labeled that I have on my skin underneath all my products. Now, I am a blush girl. I love blush. I love blush, I love lipstick, I love eyeliner, not so much in the shadow. Okay, so that's it, that color Santa Sangre on my cheeks. It's a cheek tint and you can see it's it's got, it's got good pigment, lips, good pigment. And when I swatch Wildflower for you, that also had extremely good pigment. Um, I'm gonna get my powder and my puff so that you can see how powder goes over top of this. Powder will also make this last because it sets it. And once you powder over this, this will not melt or fade. It wears on the lips like a regular lipstick. It goes on the blush like a normal cheek stain and or any kind of cream blush you would use. And powdering over top of it gives it long wear. I'm not kidding, it really does. So let me get my powder and tell you, show you how that works. Okay, I'm gonna be using this little powder sample right here that I have from another Etsy company called Forged Fields. It's their, it's called a powder, powder foundation. Um, that's what I'm gonna set my face with. And I'm just working this into my puff, see, like this, and then working it in, really working it into my puff. I've already set my eyes, so went the full off camera and my powder went over my eyebrows so that stays. So I'm just gonna show you what this does on my when I powder over it. You don't need a ton of powder. The amount I set in my puff really is all you need. See, like that. And then I work it in. Use a little more. Because I'm setting my face for, for the day. I'm not going to set my forehead. No, my neck. And that's really all you need. And as you can see, my blush is still there and it's set. And the good thing about this is that if you want to add more color, even though you've powdered your face, this does well over powder. 
So let me show you. I'm going to put some on my finger and I'm going to show you because I really want this color to pop. Let's put it on this side. Do you see that? And really just warm it up and work it in. How it brought the flush back. So this works well over and under natural powders. Put a little more on the other side. It works well with foundations, heavy foundations and skin tints. All I'm wearing right now is a skin tint. It smells good, it feels good, and it is good for you. Um, one thing that I love about this is that it's not full of peppermint oil or lemon balm or anything like that or cinnamon oil. I find those uh, ingredients to be very irritating. Um, and I don't like the way they smell. Um, so that's free of those if you're sensitive to those things. And it's, it's just a lovely, beautiful, good product. I highly recommend the tints from Boti Botica Botanica. They're beautiful. They have a color for everyone from sheer pink to the, a color called Dark Crystal, which is a dark plum and they show up on my pigmented skin. I'm not very dark, but it shows up on me, on my lips and my cheeks. And for a clean beauty product, I give these a two thumbs up. They're fantastic. So if you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you don't, give me a thumbs down and tell me how I can improve. My name's Mimi and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.